I flew into Moab, Utah to sample the newest batch of concept vehicles that Jeep brought to the annual Easter Jeep Safari. The Grand One concept started life as a 1993 ZJ Grand Cherokee. The vehicle has been restored as a tongue-in-cheek homage to the 1990s, but with serious off-road chops and a healthy, rebuilt 5.2-liter V8. Easter eggs and funny touches abound on this charmer. The open-top World War II Salute Wrangler isn't technically an Easter Safari concept, but it was one of my favorite vehicles here in Moab. The stick shift, lap belt equipped Wrangler feels like a perfect update for the original military Jeep, right down to the smell of canvas. The Trail Pass is pretty much a demonstrator for how Jeep performance parts could support the all new Compass, should the market demand. The lift kit, big wheels with cool orange inserts and roof basket certainly butch up the brand's freshest crossover. The Safari concept may look like an earthbound moon rover, but its clear doors and skeletal frame are actually meant to honor a love of adventure and the great outdoors. Note that the rear seats are canted outward to give the backseat passengers, like kids, a commanding view of the passing countryside. A drone and an iPad are also involved, but we didn't find much use for them in the dirt. Switchback is intended to be the most serious off-roading rig of the crew, with Dana 44 axles front and rear, one-off beadlock 17-inch wheels, and a 4-inch lift over Fox shocks. Custom elements like those cutout half doors and the Safari rack, reminiscent of a Land Rover Defender, haven't yet been offered as official aftermarket parts, but we're hoping. Even though the hot rod buggy themed quicksand would be more at home ripping up a beach than crawling on rocks at arches, it was still a riot to drive. The engine is the star here. A 392 Hemi V8, that's the 6.4 liter job for you fans of metric, with Hillborn style fuel injection stacks sticking out of the barely there hood. The CJ66 was my favorite ride of the day. This vehicle debuted at SEMA, not here in Utah, but I was nevertheless immediately smitten with its raucous 5.7 liter Hemi, manual transmission, and agricultural ride on those massive wheels. I'd replace the fussy five-point harnesses with the standard three-point seat belts, ship it to Michigan, and drive the hell out of it every summer. <laughs> 